Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Regrets, and I'm bringing you guys another video. Now, this is different. I'm going to try to do a, a bit of a walkthrough. Sorry from episode 4, our life is strange, because the, all the other first three episodes will be irrelevant right now, since the, um, the fifth one is going to come out, so this is pretty much the latest one. And I'm not trying to talk too much, so Life is Strange, episode 4. I'm going to do... I'm gonna try to do the walkthrough. If not, um, oh well, then I won't like post any of the gameplay anymore. But to start it off, we're gonna do Life is Strange. I already played through these episodes, so you might not know what my decisions are. So, I mean, I haven't played this episode either. These I completed, and I'm gonna just start. So, yeah. Alternative Beach. Let's do this. I'm gonna try not to talk too much because uh, Previously I think the dialogue. Life oh, is strange. Oh, let me stop right here. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again. I think you're able to see some of the decisions I made in past your, uh, past episodes. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! This is where I fucked up. I know this uh, isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, this was the ending that fucked me you over have a visitor. the last episode that I was playing. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, bruh. For those of you who, have, who didn't know, well, you probably should have because you're this far watching into the episode unless you misclick or something, but to change the future or to change the past, basically, instead of uh, Chloe's father dying, um, instead he was saved by taking the bus because, well, we altered the past and now since her father never died, the whole future changed. And now, oh, and now Chloe's like a completely different person and she's handicapped. Found that pretty sad. The cinematics are nice. Gotta admit that. So here's Max and Chloe.
I'm kind of wondering what happened, what made her like the way she is right now. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? I never knew that. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Wait, what? Are you she okay got into an accident? Oh my god. We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Yo, you don't even know how that makes me feel right now. Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. I'm actually kind of thinking, what if it's not Rachel? Since the, the future changed. Let me just put missing girl. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids. she is talking about Rachel. After that but snow and eclipse, it's I guess like Rachel and her never knew each other. Wait, what would this year say? I don't even know what she just said. I was talking. Uh, was Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen. Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Hmm. She completely changed from her old personality. So, what have we learned so far? Or as in for me, by changing the past and setting her father dying in a car accident, she didn't die, but when she got her truck or whatever. She got into a car accident. Well, instead of her dying, she's like, well, now handicapped. So that's kind of interesting.
pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard to Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Finally, we take control now. At least I just like to look at a lot of stuff. Much. I look at it like Chloe look at the garden when it comes to me playing this game. I always try to look for like she small little things the grass now. around because there's always things that like I don't know matters and such. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. What did she want to get? She wanted water, right? Shit, I just forgot. <laughs> oh, here. No, bitch. I'm sorry, she never just There's the old uh, Chloe. Huh, why is that there? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hmm. Well, enough of looking into her personal life. Let's just actually go give her water. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. <laughs> Ouch. Fine. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Let's see. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. No I think offense. about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. 
Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Hmm. Let's get this show on the road. And That's you better funny. not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Alright, so I guess I have to put on the movie. Yeah. Let me search for the... <sighs> Here's the DVD. Oh, there, there goes that. But, um, it was here too. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. And now I have to uh, put it in the DVD. Is there anything else I can do around here? No? Did I ever look at this board? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Okay, yeah, let's look at that. Um, yeah, let's just put the DVD in. There we go. So far, there's been a lot more dialogue and cinematics in the start of this episode. More than the other previous episodes. I'm afraid like some shit happens, like she dies in front of my eyes or some shit. Oh, 